Okay, I'd like to look at um, some more with layers, and specifically, I'd like to investigate how we can put our own data uh, on the map. To investigate our, our own data on the map, um, I'd first like to look at a file that's already been created. And this is in the uh, sample data directory. And you can see this is a um, Microsoft Excel oriented file. So I'm going to open this, uh, this file. And we'll take a look at this. So this is a file that's been um, created in Excel. And if we look closely at the structure here, uh, you'll see that that these are actually just uh, singular cells where it said uh, X semicolon, Y semicolon, and ELEV for elevation. So the idea here is that the um, that we could either add to this Excel file or modify this Excel file or just use this Excel file to identify um, X and Y elevation. And if you if you notice down here in the uh, the coordinates, uh, we have similar data. So uh, we could maybe investigate kind of these numbers of where I am in the map area. So this is um, you know, where I am in this particular this particular region right here and put it into this format. So this would be an elevation of, uh, of 13 meters at that particular location, 52 meters at that location, 3 meters at that location, and, and so on. So external to the program, we create this Excel spreadsheet that's using the coordinates that we've identified from here. I'm going to close this out. Okay, so uh, now the idea is once we have these locations, so these would be point locations, and uh, they have the data of what is the particular elevation. So uh, to do this, this is to, uh, in under the layers, to add a delimited text layer. Uh, you'll also notice that from the icon that this is delimited text layer here as well, add delimited text layer. So um, selecting that, we browse to find the file, and we've already set it up here because that's where we were. And there's the file name as elevation. You might have to set this as text or CSV. Okay, and under this, this area here, um, the file format normally will st start looking like this. It will say, I'm looking for CSV, which stands for comma separated values. And it's identifying the location of the file, uh, what the layer name is. So that would be the, um, uh, the definition of, of, of what's going to show up over here in the layers. Uh, we can um, describe that the first record has the field names in it. Uh, how many lines the, the spreadsheet could have a number of lines in here we, we wanted to get rid of. Uh, a lot of, of opportunity to make modifications. Now, since these were separated with semicolons and not commas, we go to custom delimiters. And there are uh, choices that you can put in or you could have your own. Uh, you could have spaces or what have you. So. If you notice, the, it, right now it's being interpreted as all one value. If we put in the semicolon, it's showing up now as, as three separate values. So the x, y, and the elevation. So what's the geometry? The geometry is the x is the x field, y is y field. So these would be ones that we would put in uh, corresponding to these uh, dimensions down here as we were going along. So we're, we're selecting these then uh, in this format. 
Uh, we haven't talked about the coordinate references yet, uh, something we'll get to fairly shortly. Um, safe to say that coordinate references mean that the data that you bring in has to be into accordance with the data that you're using or it has to be transformed. The coordinate reference system or CRS um, it shows up down here in the corner of what your project is. So it's down here as to what the project is to begin with. So we're using the uh, Alaska coordinate reference uh, 2964 and that's what we've got down here. So what we have now is we've brought in these values and they've assigned on this uh, these points. So if we go to our area of interest, the Yukon Delta, don't have any points there. There's a point. Um, so we could identify and find that at that uh, elevation is selected. That particular elevation is um, 1,197 meters. So with that being the shoreline there, that's a, that's a pretty good altitude. We must have a kind of a mountain going down through there. If we look at the attribute table, You'll see the attribute table looks just like where we were, x and y, and what the elevations were. And we'll we'll discuss um, how this is modified in editing uh, in, a, in a later time. But uh, and this is just a quick introduction to take a look at how we can bring our own data in. Uh, lastly, I'd like to just look at another little quick um, overview of bringing data in. Um, for example, here, if I go back to the shape files and I wanted to bring in uh, the shape file of where the grassland is, uh, we can right click on these and add a layer. And that'll bring the grassland in as a, as a group. So kind of nice, it's green. So we'll go back to our Yukon Delta and see that uh, there's a certain amount of grassland there right around the delta. So we're starting to develop more information about this particular area.